Hi, welcome. My name is Lisa. You are watching One Lisa Show, and my hair is all a mess. It's the end of Friday, and I wanted to have a Friday Sews video. Penny is around here. You may hear a squeaker, but she is kind of around. I was out all day, and I realized I'm wearing nothing but me maids, and I thought, why am I not telling you guys about my recent makes? And I've been really busy, and I don't, just a lot of stuff is going on. So really quick, today, because it's very hot out, it's like 90 degrees where I live, I'm wearing a Deer and Doe Plantain Tee. That's a free t-shirt pattern. And this is a McCall's pattern, and I had to modify it because I had a hard time with it. But it is a flowy skirt, flowy dress. It is the McCall's 8193. Like I said, I had major fit issues with this, so I did modify it. I put a zip on the side instead of um, a button placket, and I made ties because I liked how the ties looked. And I'm wearing a t-shirt underneath to kind of protect my shoulders <laughs> because it's been so hot out and I was outside for a lot of the day. So my hair is up in a bun, but even my hair scrunchie I made, just one of those days where everything I'm wearing, I made, and that's a fun thing. This says it was an easy pattern. I know I, I believe I did a video on this before. It's not a, it was, it just didn't fit me right. So I'll show you the line drawings. It's a simple tiered jumper dress. I don't know why I had such a hard time with it, but I did. Friday sews, everybody wants to know about what you've been sewing. And honestly, I have been sewing something, but this week has been rough. It's been a a very hectic work week and I got to spend some time with my nieces and I'll always take time with my nieces. I love them so much. I've been working on Butterick 6728 and I think I mentioned this when I got this pair and I was super excited because it looks so fun and casual or dressy. I'm I'm doing a twall. I'm doing a muslin of this dress with some clearance fabric I got from Joann's. I'm going to show you where I'm at on it because I'm actually pretty happy with it. This is the bodice of it and I've got one of the flutter sleeves done. But it, it does feature a lot of princess seams and this is the fabric from Joann's. I, this was very cheap. It's from their Silky Prince Apparel and honestly it is not my favorite fabric <laughs> uh, by any means but i have it pinned here the fit is so far so good the instructions are not exactly easy for me and i consider myself a confident beginner even though it's been a few years now i need to leave that and turn in myself into an intermediate but even some of it, I chalk it up to the fabric um, right here. Maybe my interfacing is too stiff, but I have a little bit of a, a, like a little buckle of some sort here for the V. Otherwise, it's doing good. I'm proud of the sew so far. It fits well. I think it's going to turn into a very pretty wearable muslin and i'm continuing to make the whole thing so it is wearable uh, i think it will be a breezy dress and i could wear a cardigan with it uh, a slip if i need to the one i want to make i have two fabrics i really want to make this dress if it fits well and the two fabrics i'm hemming and hawing are either a black and white gingham so it'd be similar to this one, but black and white gingham. And then I have black fabric for the contrast details. And then I also have a Lady McElroy lawn that I think would be fabulous in this dress also. I don't know if I have enough to make the dress, so I definitely probably could do it out of the shorter version of the two. <sighs> but it's a precious fabric and I don't really want to dive into pre I have a problem. I have a problem using my precious fabrics. I just do. So I thought I would get clearance fabric from Joann's, which I did, and get the fit right and determine if I really love the dress because something like this, I loved the pattern. I really wanted to dress exactly like this with this fabric, but yet once I made it, I had serious fit issues and 
it's been a little botched. I wear it still. I love it. But I see all the things I don't like about it. So I've been working on this. I started, I think, last weekend. And I got a lot done. Now I have to finish the Empire Waste. And then do the gatherings for the skirt portion. Put them together and then zip. Not bad. Oh, I have one more flutter sleeve to do. And the flutter sleeve I was really nervous about, but it actually turned out pretty good. I think it lays a little funny because of the fabric. But other than that, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. And I think it's going to look great and I'll be able to wear it for work. Um, or if I go somewhere, maybe church, it'll be perfect for church. So happy with that. I've had a couple of realizations this week. I constantly tell my nieces, you know, don't start another project until you finish a project. Um, the story with that was on Monday, I took them to the bookstore and they each picked out a book. They love to read, by the way. They love to read. They're 10 and 12 and they are extreme readers. They love graphic novels. They probably would love comics, but they actually read real books. The one is 12. She's read Lord of the Flies last year. She read Animal Farm last year when she was 11. So they are extreme readers. They're very smart. But they're also very lazy. So I bought them each a book because I'm not going to deny them a book until yesterday. We were at Target and they walked by the book section, which is across from the toy section. And they wanted to spend time in the book section. And they picked out books and they asked me to buy them books. And I said, I'm sorry, you got to finish the first book I bought you. And then I'll buy you another book. Well, I want to read this one. I said, after you read the book that I just bought you. And both of them got books that were books in a series. So I feel like they already know they like these series. <laughs> they need to read these books and then I'll buy them. Books are not cheap. I am a person that goes on the library website and I go in and see what I can check out electronically for free. Um, I've been kind of playing doing the Kindle Unlimited subscription. I like to read as well, but a lot of my reading is not fiction. It's more um, health related or professional related or learning about something. Right now I'm into the blue zones. And so we watch the Netflix special about the blue zones and how to live to 100. And they watched it with me and they loved it. So like that's where I would do my further reading in the middle of the night when I can't sleep. I want to read about the Blue Zones and more about that. They want to read about um, Wings of Fire and Harry Potter and I think something called Hooky or The Lemonade Wars or the Smile series. This is the Dork Diaries, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This is the stuff that they're interested in. I love it. I love that they like to read. But I'm trying to push they should spend time finishing a project first. So uh, all of that was for me to say I'm determined to finish this and fully finish it and then decide if I want to cut into my precious fabric for that. And the gingham shouldn't be precious because it's from Minerva and it's relatively cheap. It's a matter of I have to wait weeks to get it from Minerva. But I can always get the black and white check gingham from Minerva. And I love that fabric, by the way. They're Minerva Core Range Gingham. It's a poly cotton blend, and I'm not a big poly fan, but I will say it's amazing. I don't have to iron it. <laughs> and, that, and always lays well, and I have a couple of things that I've made, a couple, a skirt and a dress. I think I made something else out of another. They're all different colors of gingham or different size, the check, and I absolutely love, love, love that fabric. And it, and it, is an easy sew fabric too. It behaves and it listens to you. So I should just buy more. <laughs> just buy more. I hope everybody's doing well. This is the project. So this is a quick video. This is the project I'm working on. This is what I'm wearing. I wear me maids all the time. Um, my nieces did tell me I dress like a teacher. So maybe I have a little frizzle going on. And I do not dress like a realtor. And some people think that that might be a good thing. And other people, Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't look professional enough for when I meet clients, but this is not something I would meet clients in. I spent all day doing other things today. 
So it's a, it's a funny kind of thing to hear, though, that I dressed like a teacher. And the first thing I thought about was the magic school bus in my flowy dress with my t-shirt underneath. I hope you guys are having a great day and doing something creative wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.